Yo, how are you? It's Mr. Glitch. Welcome to Albion's Adventures. Today we're playing Gearbox, and we are still looking for that key. River turned into water, and I know a place where there was water, so... Yeah, there was water here. Somewhere. I think it was if you go here, you can hear it running. Actually, here's some puddles. There's puddles here. This is probably the water they're talking about. Is there a key in here? Ooh. Hi, have you seen a key? Hey, have you seen a key? The key is at the bottom of the lake. here. Oh, I have to pull you out of the water. Hey! Um... Let's look at our encyclopedia. I don't think that's what you are. Magdalene's died at the hands of the angel makers. Angel maker would typically be paid by the child's poor mother to find a decent home for the infant. When the mother left, the infant was murdered. Oh. Typically, typically the mylings were murdered by their mothers. Often unmarried women who've been left to fend for themselves. The Myling would co commonly be left in the woods to die. Or they would have been drowned by their mothers in brooks or bogs. It makes me think of Little Mai and Snufkin. They're my Rimricks. Some Mylings died at the hands of Angel Makers. The Angel Maker would typically be paid. Alright, we, we read that, yeah. Oh, that's the face. One story of the Burslagman Bert tells of an old farmer on his way home through the forest. This pressurized small child follows him and says, Grandfather, Grandfather, I am so hungry. The old man tries to ignore, but the child keeps on nagging. So finally, the old man loses his patience and says, If you can find someone to feed you, then feed, or you won't get any milk from me. The child seems pleased and leaves. When the old man comes home, he finds his daughter lying dead on the floor, bleeding from the chest. The child he met was the spirit of, the, of his murdered grandson. The person who helped find the, helped the mindlings find their way home on the other side was often left with a gift. According to some sources, the mindling would be taken by supernatural creatures such as pubs. They have been drowned in the brook. Drowned. The brook horse. Are you the brook horse? You poor little child. Do I need to find the other children? The brook horse. Brush. I'm not sure. Please tell me how to pronounce this if you're watching this. The brook horse. Sweden is a country that has a lot of lakes, rivers, streams, and brooks. Swedish folklore is filled with strange creatures residing in the dark waters. We have a horse that lives in the waters called a Kelpie. The brook horse was a pale horse who lived in creeks or lakes, luring children to ride on its back. It is a Kelpie. The brook horse spine grew for every rider that lured it on top of its back. When the brook horse was satisfied, it leapt 
into the water whereupon the children drowned. But of course had a lot in common with Nix, handsome young fiddler, who lured young girls down to the water. According to some there were there were one and the same. It's likely that the Brookhurst was made to keep, made up to keep children playing too close to the water. One of the more unusual descriptions comes from a story told in the north of Dalarnia. A young man on his way home from his work at a charcoal kiln, he decided to wash up in a nearby creek. Man found a strange stone, swarmed like a small child in the water. He picks it up. The man notices that he is not alone. He's being watched by a horse, walking on two legs. The horse stri stretches out a human hand to the man who gets frightened and runs home to a shack he shares with his fellow workers. He tells the tale to his comrades, who laugh at him and call him a drunken fool. He shows him the stone, which now looks quite ordinary. The man curses and goes to bed. When the workers wake up the following day, they find the man dead in his bed, his lungs filled with water, and the stone nowhere to be seen. The brook horse almost o is almost always closely associated with death, not always in a negative way. For instance, the sad folklore Little Nils, the brook horse, is the one who finally let leads Little Nils so home, and thus ends his long series of misfortunes. That is so cool. So do I need to find? Do I need to find you more little rocks? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna read the. Seems to be asking for four souls. Okay. Let blood and strange sounds guide you. That's what we did. There's something in the east that wasn't there before. I'm just gonna go ahead and read these. A blood stained carriage. Horrid cries can be heard by the windmill. Perhaps the wing is connected to something inside. Psychopedia might. Okay. I will look! I will look all over for the poor children. Oh, it's so awful. Oh, the let the blood. Oh, okay. I know there's a child in there that's just... No! How do I open this? I know you're in there! Blood and strange sounds guide you. Yeah, the blood and strange sounds definitely guided me. But I still don't know how to open this. Okay. That was smart. I have to push on the letter keys. That is smart. Okay, how do I push on this key and... 